Dear students, in today's lecture, we will study about EIA process. Yesterday, we studied about EIA, what EIA means. This is EIA, it stands for Environmental Impact Assessment. And it is a process in which we uh, predict the impacts that a developmental project is going to have on the environment and life forms. And today we will uh, see the various steps that are involved in this environmental impact assessment. And there are seven steps in this process. One is screening, then scoping, then we have impact assessment and mitigation, then we have impact management, then the EIA report, and then review, and lastly we have monitoring. So let's go to uh, one by one. And first step here, it is screening. The screening, it is first stage of EIA process. And it results in a key EIA decision, namely either to conduct the EIA or not. So here we see in screening, mein we see the impacts that a developmental project is going to have on environment or life forms. Uh, seeing the potential of the impacts, whether they are going to harm or not, uh, on the basis of these uh, potential of impacts, we say uh, either to conduct the EIA or not. An essential aspect of EIA, it determines the level of impact of the proposed project. So here we see the level of the impact, whether the level is... Uh, uh, high level or low level. So for high level impacts, we conduct EIA. For low level, we do not need to conduct this EIA. And after screening, we go for scoping. And this scoping, it is the second stop of EIA. It establishes the boundaries of the EIA, sets the basis of the analysis that will be conducted at each stage, describes the project alternatives and consult the affected people. So here in this step, mein, what we see, we establish the boundaries. Boundaries, lab, we uh, see the level of impacts. Uh, after seeing the level of impacts, we see what we have to do. Uh, what are the various uh, processes? What are the various uh, uh, alternatives that we have to uh, uh, keep in consideration here for the uh, said project? And we have to consult the affected people. We have to uh, consider their uh, say also. What they have to say about the project, we have to take it, that into consideration. So here we see the scope. And we uh, here set the boundaries of the EIA. And then we have assessment and evaluation of impacts. Uh, here in this step, we uh, predict and identify the likely in environmental impacts of a proposed project including the detailed, uh, detailed elaboration of alternatives. Here we see what impacts are actually there. We see the impact stepwise and we think about their alternatives. If they are going to cause uh, uh, impact on the environment, we discuss about their alternatives. If we put alternatives uh, uh, in their place, then the impact could be minimized. So we here uh, predict, identify the likely impacts of the proposed project and we uh, find the alternatives for uh, those impacts, impact causing processes. And then we have EIA report. And on the base of these steps, we uh, form a report uh, that uh, includes environmental management plan and a, a non-technical summary for the general audience. And then we have a review. Uh, after a uh, uh, report, we have review. This review is the uh, EI is reviewed based on scoping and public participation. Here, public participation is must. What are the uh, suggestions from the public? They are uh, kept in consideration. They are uh, taken into consideration and thereby we review the EIA, Environmental Impact Assessment. We review it. And then we have de <laughs> decision making. This decision, it is made whether to approve the project or not and under what conditions. Uh, after reviewing this uh, EIA, we see various impacts that developmental project is going to cause. 
and on uh, these on the level of these uh, impacts after public participation all the aspects when we see so then we come to a conclusion we come to a discussion uh, decision and this decision is uh, about the project that whether to approve it or not and lastly we have monitoring we go for monitoring of this and this monitoring uh, is that uh, we monitor whether the proposed impacts and proposed mitigation measures occur as defined in the environmental management plan we have a management plan environmental management plan where we uh, keep environment away from the impacts that are caused due to this developmental projects and we see the impacts proposed impacts that a developmental project is going to cause and we see the proposed mitigation measures there and we see it whether they are defined in the environmental management plan or not after proper verification uh, it is ensured that these unpredicted impacts and failed mitigation measures are identified and addressed. Uh, sometimes there are uh, some impacts they are uh, not predicted or we do not uh, take mitigation measures for those impacts and we have to verify them and we have to ensure that there is no impact left uh, unpredicted and we have to check the mitigation measures whether they are successful or not. So these uh, unpredicted impacts and failed mitigation measures they are identified and addressed this is about the process of eia hope you have understood next lecture we'll study another topic till then have a good day